Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We are given a an isosceles triangle and the, the, this isosceles triangle inside has a right triangle in it. And uh, this right triangle is a blue region. And the base of this uh, uh, isosceles triangle is 30 and the one side is 25. And we are required to find the area of the blue triangle. Okay. So, first thing that we have to notice is that it is an isosceles triangle given. So, if that is the case, then this uh, length is, uh, this length AB is actually a 25 also. So, 25. So, and we label this uh, BD as uh, X. And uh, this uh, AD is a uh, 25 minus x okay so as you can see this uh, isosceles triangle is divided into two right triangles this triangle ACD and this uh, triangle uh, BCD so triangle BCD and notice that uh, they have the same uh, uh, one of their uh, legs are actually congruent and coinciding the CD. So we can make an equation about that CD is equal to CD. Okay. So for the white uh, right triangle, uh, ADC. So ADC we have here. Uh, this is should be 25 square. The hypotenuse minus one leg, which is a 25 minus x squared and for the blue we have a uh, 30 square minus a uh, x square okay and we just copy the left hand side so 30 square minus this uh, x square is equal to 25 square and we square this uh, binomial so 25 square minus uh, 2 times 20 here that is 50 x plus x square and we distribute the negative sign inside so we just copy this 30 square minus x square is equal to 25 square minus 25 square plus 50x then minus uh, x square okay so we can cancel this and cancel this and 30 square is actually a 900 uh, and we just copy 50x so if we divide both sides by 50 so 50 so we cancel this zero and this becomes 18 x is equal to 18 units or dc I mean db, sorry, db is equal to 18 units. Okay, so if the db or bd is equal to 18, then uh, uh, this length ad is actually a 25 minus 18, and that will give you 7 units. Okay, so next is uh, we label a certain point let's call this a uh, point uh, this as e this on the perpendicular point ae okay so next is i want you to focus on this uh, triangle uh, aeb aeb okay notice that uh, this triangle aeb has this angle at B. Okay, so AEB. So, if that has an angle at that point AB, let's label this as a alpha. And this angle at A is the complement. So, this is actually a beta. Okay. And uh, 
next is you we focus on angle uh, i mean triangle uh, bcd and uh, bcd notice that on angle b is uh, alpha and this angle at this uh, portion should be the complement of alpha uh, this should be a uh, beta so as you can see uh, these two triangles uh, aeb and bcd are actually a uh, similar triangles because they have uh, the same two angles uh, alpha at b their common uh, uh, vertex and at the uh, point a and the portion of point c uh, they have a uh, angle beta and the 90 degree angle of course so by triple a similarity theorem uh, these two triangles are actually uh, uh, similar okay so now focusing on uh, triangle uh, AEB uh, since this is actually a uh, half of the isosceles triangle so uh, since ABC is the isosceles and half of that uh, half of uh, ABC is uh, ABE or AEB then this uh, length BE is actually uh, 15 units so 15 Okay, so since we are concerned with the area of this uh, blue triangle and it is a right triangle, we already have one leg as 18. And next is we should uh, get this uh, length uh, CD, uh, the other leg. So it is easy to find the area. We just need to multiply those legs and uh, multiply it by one half. So you have the area. Um, and uh, we can actually we we are actually uh, looking for this dc later okay so okay so next is we find the value of this uh, ae okay ae so ae is equal to this uh, ab squared minus uh, be squared so uh, a e squared is equal to this uh, 25 squared for a b minus uh, 15 uh, squared okay so a e is equal to this uh, uh 25 squared 625 minus this 15 squared is 225 so a e a e square is equal to 400 and take square to both sides we have a e is equal to 20. okay so the reason that we have we have uh, um, to get the value of uh, a e is that we are going to use the opposite over the adjacent okay ratio so we already knew that the uh, bcd is similar to aeb okay and uh, for uh, aeb we have already the two lengths uh, uh, this bd i mean be is 15 so i forgot to write it here so B is equal to 15. Okay. And uh, A E is already, we have found that out. And uh, for this uh, blue triangle, uh, B D is 18 and the unknown is C D. Okay. So for, uh, let's focus on uh, B C D. So B C D with regards to, I mean, reference to angle beta the opposite is 18 18 over the adjacent of cd is equal to uh, a ratio from this uh, triangle a b e so a b e a b e 
So, AB e, the opposite is uh, with respect to beta, this beta. The opposite is uh, 15. And the adjacent is uh, this uh, AE, which is 20. So, 20. So, just cross multiply CD is equal to uh, 18 minus uh, 20 over uh, 15. So, we can cancel this 5. So, this becomes 3. And this becomes uh, 4. So, this becomes uh, cancels out and this becomes 6. And CD is just 6 times 4, 24 uh, units. Okay, so now the area can be easily uh, found out. So area of uh, this uh, BCD equal to one half times uh, this uh, BD and the uh, CD, uh, the two legs. That will be the either the base or the height. So one half times uh, BD which is a 18 for db and cd is 24 so we have this uh, uh, 24 over 2 is 12 so 12 times 18 is uh, 216 square units for the area of uh, b c d and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.